Today we are on the east side of OSU's campus and joining me is John Lee, who is the Director of Landscape Services. And we're talking topiaries today because when people come to visit OSU, it's hard to deny the unique features that we have here on our campus. So tell yes. us a little bit about just our history with topiaries. Thank you, Casey. We have a history going back to 2011 and that was our first debut of our first topiary, which was the cowboy boot. Okay. And Right on the corner. Everybody right sees on the it corner down there by the universe, Yes, University of Monroe Corner. If you haven't seen it, you've got to come visit and check out the Cowboy Boot. That started it all. And so our very talented team uh, built that entire topiary in-house. Oh, really? And planted it, and we crane it in, and we crane it out, and we debut that for graduation starting in May. And it lives there on the corner of University of Monroe for the entire summer. And then we unfortunately have to take it back indoors because of the plant material that make up that cowboy boot are not cold hardy. Okay. So it goes back into our greenhouses for safekeeping over the winter. And, and this one is a little bit more different than that. Yeah, so, so fast forward a few years, how many topiaries do you have now on campus? This is our ninth. This is your ninth yes. one. So if people have not been walking to the interior campus during game day, they need to make sure because Let's real quick, can we list the other topiaries sure. before we get to the one behind us Let's here? do. So started with the cowboy boot okay. in 2011. We fast forwarded and we started with another cowboy hat topiary. And so that is in the formal garden most of the time and throughout the growing season. Now we have OSU fans and they're doing the OSU. Uh -huh. And those are located on the east side of the alumni center, uh, their plaza area there. We have OSU topiary letters which used to live in this location. And so we're designing a new home for the OSU topiary letters. And then this is our ninth. Okay. And you also have a butterfly, right? Is we that do have a small a butterfly topiary that shares a uniqueness with this topiary as well. Right. So tell us a little bit about, and it's kind of bookend on the other side of the native one uh, corridor mm -hmm. that you have here north of the library. Mm -hmm. This is the latest one. Tell us about the bison here behind us. This is our latest, maybe not be our greatest. It's our favorite because it's new yeah. right, and exciting. And it's very unique and different in the, in the details of this planting that it's gonna stay put. So with this topiary, you will see year round. Okay. So compared to our other topiaries, the boot, the hat, the OSU letters, the people, we have to crane in and crane out to take care of those topiaries. This one, we have strategically planted it with native grass that will stay year round. All right, so we've got some native plants on here. Is it all one type of grass to give it, it this hairy look? <laughs> it is, it is. We will shear parts of the topiary to give it the, the look and the shape of a bison. And it is one plant okay. species. It's a uh, Carex pensilvanica uh -huh. and it's doing fantastic. It's already starting to grow and root and fill in. So we're, we have the right plant. It's in the right location. We're taking great care of it. You can see it watering already. And it, as far as location, we're right here on Hester Street, which is also the um, promenade for the parade. So if anybody is up here for the football game parade, yes. they're going to walk by this guy. They will see this bison. So, yes, the walk starts at the Student Union, goes straight to the stadium. It's an extremely busy area on game day. He's going to get a lot of attention. So how do you maintain some plants in, in this? Can you talk a little bit about some of the, the infrastructure? Sure. So it starts with our very talented greenhouse team. It starts with our design shop too, the partnership, the development of a topiary. We use in-house construction, uh, bioag systems, did all the welding of the frame. We have internal irrigation system that we designed and installed. We have a heat tape inside this guy that's gonna keep the soil temperatures up in our brutal Oklahoma weather. Right, we have plants that die in the ground and this right. is up in and the ambient air. And this is exposed right. and it's going to be okay. Yeah, so, yeah. So all of that thought process is in-house in landscape services, partnership with other team members of OSU. It's an OSU project. That's that's amazing. It is. So as we go into winter time, we're gonna be able to still see him out here on campus um, while the other ones go at, go inside. And that that's a lot of labor, right? <laughs> it is. So it's if you've never seen the topiaries being delivered to campus and craned it out, that's a process in itself. So there's a lot of photos where you'll see the topiary boot traveling on a trailer to campus. Then it's flying through the air, so to speak, to being craned in place. The same thing happened with this big guy, uh, but he's staying put. Yeah. So that process for all the other topiaries won't exist with this one. He's here, he's here for the, indefinitely, 
and the other topiaries, they have to play the musical in and out around that temperature of 32 degrees or more. So. Well, I know we have the best campus landscape. Um, Thank you. <laughs> I know that. I, agree. I know several of our um, alumni and visitors who maybe have never been to OSU recognize that as well. Um, is this is the topiaries kind of unique to an OSU or to a campus, university campus? I'm going to say yes, they're unique to OSU specifically because we have nine. Okay. Uh, you will see topiaries on other campuses around the United States. However, nine on one location um, and strategically placed, uh, thinking about the process of craning them in, craning them out, and having them look like this. Yeah. And that unique newness of the season when we get to bring the topiaries out for graduation. Uh, it's an exciting, it's an exciting process that I think is very unique to Oklahoma State. Well, John, you and your team have knocked it out of the park once Thank again. You. Thank you so much for sharing this You're with us. You're very welcome. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.